Michael L. Gross is Professor of Chemistry, Medicine, and Immunology, at Washington University in St. Louis. He was formerly Professor of Chemistry at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln from 1968 to 1994. He is recognized for his contributions to the field of mass spectrometry and ion chemistry. He is credited with the discovery of dystonic ions, chemical species containing a radical and an ionic site on different atoms of the same molecule. Working with colleagues at the Environmental Protection Agency, he validated the part per trillion analysis of 2,378 tetrachlorodibenzodioxin in biological tissues, perhaps the first validation of an ultra trace analytical chemistry method. With this method, he and his co-workers found this highly toxic compound in the tissue of veterans of the Vietnam War, a controversial observation that was later validated by scientists at the Center for Disease Control. In the early 1980s, he served as chief analytical chemistry witness, before the Environmental Protection Agency of the United States of America, 2, 4, 5T and Silvex cancellation hearing, in Ray, the Dow Chemical Company, et al. FIFRA Docket Nose, 415. In 1978, he became director of a National Science Foundation Center for Mass Spectrometry at Nebraska. Under the aegis of the NSF, he commissioned the first commercial triple-sector tandem mass spectrometer. With this instrumentation, his co-workers and he sequenced the first unknown peptide using soft ionization and tandem mass spectrometry mega -siemens per mega -siemens. They also discovered a new class of fragmentation of gas phase ions later termed charge remote fragmentation and applied it to a wide variety of compounds including fatty acids, lipids, surfactants, steroids, and peptides. An expanded four-sector version was employed to insert noble gas atoms in C60 and other fullerenes and a second noble gas atom in synthetic fullerenes already containing a noble gas atom. In the late 1970s, Charles Wilkins and he built the second Fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance mass spectrometer and were the first to use it for analytical applications. Notable were the demonstrations of GC per mega Siemens, laser desorption, gas pulsing, multiphoton ionization, and the development of calibration law for accurate mass measurement. More recently, Don Rempel and he described an electrically compensated FTICR trap to improve mass resolving power. <laughs> Education, awards, editing Gross received his B.A. from St. John's University, Minnesota 1962, and his Ph.D. from the University of Minnesota 1966. He was a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Pennsylvania Thornton and Purdue University F. W. McClafferty. For his research contributions, he received the Field and Franklin Award, American Chemical Society 1999, the Midwest Award, AXE 2002, and the J.J. Thomson Medal, International Foundation for Mass Spectrometry 2006. He is co-editor of the Encyclopedia of Mass Spectrometry and editor-in-chief of the Journal of the American Society for Mass Spectrometry since its founding in 1990. Prior to that appointment, he served as editor of Mass Spectrometry Reviews. Topic: Publications. Gross has authored and co-authored over 500 papers and book chapters. He was recognized as 50 most cited chemists Institute for Scientific Information 1984 to 1991. He was recognized in 2010 as the 356th most cited of living chemists. 